everyone, it's Ashley and Kaino from the My Best Self Project, and welcome to your daily Tarascope forecast for Tuesday, the 22nd of January. So, first of all, I apologize for my live video yesterday on Facebook. Uh, Gabriel was a little insane. I learned my lesson, pre-record my videos. <laughs> Don't go live while a child is in the house. Okay, so let's dig in. I got the cards here. I just pulled them out. I did the shuffle beforehand. So today we got the Four of Fire, which is actually what we got yesterday as well. Um, we have the nine of water and the seven of air. So the overall energy today is definitely this emphasis on building foundations when it comes to building like a stable home and family life, even um, commitments, um, getting married, like just that sort of like building a happy home, a happy home life for yourself. And it even shows like wish fulfillment here, but at the same time, it's letting you know that maybe um, there are delays, some things going on behind the scenes that could be slowing things down a little bit. So let's just break this down and get stuck in. So the four of fire, it says contentment, peace and abundance, a happy home life, the successful completion of a project. So this is saying that you have in your hands here um, a happy, fulfilling home life. Either it's happening right now or it's coming in for you. So just like stay positive, stay aligned, know that even if everything feels like it's falling apart, it's actually happening for your highest and greatest good right now so that you can have that peace, contentment, and joy when it comes to your family, when it comes to building firm foundations of a family life and a home and marriage and all of that good stuff, okay? This is a really good sign. It's a really beautiful card. It's really warm. It's really loving. It really is laying the foundations for a strong marriage, home, and family. So it is beautiful. And then we have the Nine of Water here, which is the Wish Fulfillment card. Wishes coming true, concerns fade away, a love of life. So I feel like this is telling you to either put your wishes out there when it comes to your home and family life and what you want, or else your wishes are coming in and it's just gonna take a little bit of time. Um, but definitely it is about just putting out there and staying positive and keeping the thoughts positive of what you want in regards to this area of your life. Um, but where I get the timing from here is with the seven of air. So it says plans that need revision, more going on than meets the eye, poor timing. So this card for me really represents poor timing or there's just some other stuff going on that needs taken care of first. It's not as negative as other people like to make out, like deception and all this kind of stuff. It's like, no, um, there's a lot of other factors at play here. So I see that this is about putting your hopes and wishes out into the universe, about having this happy home life, this commitment, this stepping into marriage or laying the foundations for a happy home. But it's just saying it's gonna take a little bit of time, okay? Like wishes don't come true overnight, all right? Um, <laughs> that's a bad affirmation. But it's just saying, look, there's some delays going on. Divine timing is at play here. Things are slowing down because there's other things behind the scenes that need to be addressed. Perhaps with the other person involved here, they've taken a step back or there's some other things they need to deal with first. Perhaps this is literally about buying a home and this could be saying that, you know, there's things going on behind the scenes, slowing down or delaying that loan coming through. Whatever it is, it's just saying relax, divine timing is at play here, but wish fulfillment is coming in. So just know that if there are any delays, just trust the process. It's all being taken care of. Okay, so then we have our angel message of the day. And we got Law of Attraction. So again, it's just about putting out those vibes, what you want to manifest, and really staying aligned to the positivity and belief and knowing that it's all okay. And even if you're not seeing yet in this physical um, world right now, it is coming. So just trust that you're doing what you need to do and trust that the universe is doing what it needs to do for it to come in for you. Now, I still can't find my affirmation card since Gabriel went crazy yesterday. So I'm going to pull an energy oracle card instead for today and see what it has to say. Um, rest in peace, I guess, to my, my affirmation cards. Who knows when they're going to show up again. Um, so let me see what the universe wants us to know for today. angel of strength. So this is just reminding you that you do have guides and angels around you that you can call upon whenever you need that extra strength to see you through, to keep you positive, to keep that mindset out of being depressed and focusing on the negative and all those fears, okay? You have a support team around you and it's also letting you know that you have this strength within you also. There may even be a significant Leo or someone in your life that you can lean into for support, um, but ultimately it is letting you know that there's a spirit team around 
around you and just call upon them to give you that extra little bit of I can do this and keep you aligned to positivity so that you can manifest your dreams when it comes to your home and family life. What a lovely reading. Okay, you guys, I hope you enjoyed today's Tarascope. Again, if you'd like a private reading, just click on the link in the description. Other than that, I look forward to bringing your Tarascope tomorrow. Bye.